The Optimizer is revolutionary microplate design that can significantly enhance assay performance. The operation of the Optimizer is very similar to a conventional microplate. However, it is important to follow correct protocols for using the Optimizer. To use the Optimizer, unpack the holder, absorbent pads, and the Optimizer plates. Position the holder so that the side with the Salome logo is closest to you. Position the pad so that it fits within the slot on the holder. Orient the plate with well A1 at the top left corner. Place the optimizer plate on the holder and push it down till you hear it click in place. Now you're ready to start using the optimizer microplate system. Please ensure that all buffers used for preparing assay reagents are filtered using a 0.45 micron filter. If your assay protocol involves multiple samples or different dilutions, please prepare them in a 96-well compatible carrier such as a tube rack or V-bottom 96-well plate. It is necessary that all the solutions for a given assay step are loaded within a one-minute interval. Hence, the use of a multi-channel pipette is strongly recommended. Pipetting into the optimizer microplate is pretty straightforward. At the same time, it is very important to ensure that you follow correct pipetting procedures. This video shows the operation sequence using a manual multi-channel pipette. Push the pipette to the second stop or all the way and load the desired reagents. Position the pipette tips so that most of the tips touch the sidewalls of the loading wells at an angle. Dispense at normal speed, but be sure that you do not push beyond the first stop on the pipette. When you dispense correctly, you will see some residue in the pipette tips, which is exactly according to recommended pipetting guidelines. As you can see, it is easy and quick. Now let's see what happens if you don't follow this simple recommendation. A common pipetting mistake is to dispense beyond the first stop and push all the liquid out. When you do this, you inject air behind the liquids and this generates air bubbles in the wells which impedes reagent flow and can cause assay failure. Following this simple pipetting guideline and using samples and reagents free of particles will ensure consistent results from the optimizer microplate. When you load 10 microliters of the last reagent, which would typically be the chemofluorescence substrate, about 5.5 microliters is drawn out by the pad, but 4.5 microliters is still contained in the microchannel. This is the substrate volume that reacts with the HRP label to give the fluorescence signal that completes the assay process. After the assay sequence, remove the optimizer plate from the holder and wipe the bottom of the plate to remove any liquid residues. Wiping does not remove liquid from the microchannels. The optimizer can be read using any conventional fluorescence or multimode reader. And don't worry, the optimizer will not leak any liquids into the reader. Thanks for watching. By following these simple protocols, you'll discover how the optimizer will revolutionize your immunoassays.